blistering skin after using a sunscreen. I team reporter Jackie Calloway uncovers how ingredients in the sunscreen may have caused serious burns on two children. So my sister applied sunscreen as soon as we got to the beach. Jade Gribble, who was visiting her twin Jana Whitehead over spring break, says she used an SPF 50 spray on all four of her children. Yeah, so I thought, you know, it'd be, it'd be, you know, safe. But just two hours later, they say one-year-old Talon and three-year-old Tally turned beet red. She started seeing red blotches all over her children. The burns transformed into blisters overnight. By the next day, it, they, it, it was screams. It was like agony. Jade rushed her two youngest children to the emergency room for treatment. And you could see like blisters forming under their eyes and like on the back of their ears. Do you have any history of skin cancer? We brought the sunscreen to three dermatologists, including Dr. Maria Hicks, and showed them photos of Talon and Tally's burns. When you see that, you just have a dermatitis. And dermatitis means inflammation of the skin. Dr. Hicks suspects one of two ingredients caused a reaction on the children's skin. Probably the oxybenzone and I will probably the acrylate. She says oxybenzone and acrylates, both popular ingredients in sunscreens, are also known to irritate the skin in certain people. We find it in, in patients very common. Acrylate, an ingredient that gives the sunscreen its consistency, was named Allergen of the Year in 2012 by the American Contact Dermatitis Society. It can be used in super glue. It can be used for dental work. Dermatologists say the only way to truly protect yourself and your family is to choose a mineral-based sunscreen over a chemical-based sunscreen, one that contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Tonight at 11, we're going to show you why this is not an isolated incident, and we're going after answers from these sunscreen makers. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you.